Hello, this is Dr. Drew Hall with Upper Cervical Healthcare of Los Angeles and Carson. Today, what we want to discuss is something called the myodural bridge. So myo stands for muscle, bridge means connecting something, and dura is the sheath that covers the spinal cord. So back in 2005, believe it or not, after hundreds of years of cadaver dissection of human beings, you would think there was nothing more defined anatomically speaking. But what they found was what they called the myodural bridge. They found that one of the muscles at the base of the skull called the posterior rectus capitis minor muscle, that underneath it, there was a connective tissue that connected to the sheath covering the spinal cord. And so they referred to it as the myodural bridge. Now, this video is in reference to headaches and tension, tension headache and migraine and the connection between the myodural bridge uh, and chronic headache problems. There was some research also done several years after the myodural bridge was discovered. And the reason they started looking down this road with headaches and migraine was it was the first time there was something that was external to the spinal cord that could contract and put a tensile stress on the nervous system or the brainstem more specifically. And so they wanted to see is there a correlation between that muscle being tight and people who have chronic headache? And so they designed a research study. And what they did is they took 232 people. They had a control group of people that had no headaches. And they had another group who had chronic headaches. And they took an MRI of the um, suboccipital region between the head and the neck, the craniocervical junction, C1, 2, and the skull. And what they did is they measured the cross-sectional area of the posterior rectus capitis minor muscle. Now, what they found, the findings, um, when a muscle shortens, it becomes thicker in the cross-sectional area that becomes bigger. And so their thinking was, if that posterior rectus capitis muscle is tight, the cross-sectional area is going to increase. And so... On the MRIs, they measured that cross-sectional area, and what they found was a statistically significant uh, correlation between a larger posterior rectus capitis minor muscle and the people who suffered with chronic headaches compared to the group that didn't have headaches. And so that bore out a theory the myodural bridge is connected to chronic tension, headaches, and migraine. And mechanically, what's happening is when someone sustains a neck injury, and it doesn't matter whether you have a whiplash injury, you get dropped on your head, uh, a slip and fall injury, there's lots of things that happen through life. We're looking at a short blunt type trauma. The head weighs 10 to 13 pounds. C1, which it sits on, weighs two ounces. And you have two little joints at the bottom of the head that fit in the two little joints on the top of the atlas. And again, 13 pounds, 10 to 13 resting on a two ounce bone. So the junction between the head and the neck is very susceptible to injury. And whiplash type traumas can cause that top vertebra to shift and lock out of position. Now in our office, what we practice is called Blair Upper Cervical Care. And what we're interested in is whether someone sustained an injury in the past or not and that top vertebra is locked biomechanically under the skull. And if it is, uh, we determine that through objective neurological findings, and if we find that there is a trouble, we take 3D x-ray or cone beam computerized tomography in our Los Angeles office to see how the joint has displaced off the floor of the skull. Then what we do is we apply a very precise gentle force. There's no twisting, popping, or pulling to get that vertebra back under the body's control. And what we found over the last 16, 17 years having seen hundreds, no thousands, of patients who have chronic headaches, that when that upper cervical misalignment is corrected, generally people with chronic tension and migraine headaches, they start to recover from them. Now we have a scientific explanation for why that's happening. We commonly see when C1 is corrected under the floor of the skull that people talk about their head feeling lighter, that the muscles in the back of their head are more relaxed, the muscles have become more symmetric in their tone. And so the literature shows that when a joint, whether it's in the neck or anywhere in the spine, becomes locked, it causes the muscles in that area to become hypertonic or spastic. So that myodural bridge connection to tension headaches 
is the result of a neck injury and the muscle being tight and putting tensile stress on the brainstem and causing the body not to work the way it's supposed to. So this doesn't just affect people with chronic tension headaches and migraine. There's a whole host of other problems, post-concussion syndrome, Meniere's disease, chronic vertigo problems, chronic neck pain, chronic cognitive problems can all be coming from a prior upper cervical spine injury. So if you're listening and this has spoken to you, um, our, we have two offices in Los Angeles, one's in Carson, one's in Los Angeles. Uh, we do offer a free consultation in the office. You can come in, we'll go into a deeper explanation of what Blair Upper Cervical Chiropractic is, run you through a battery of tests, find out whether you have this trouble or not, and whether we think we can help you. If you are outside of the Los Angeles area, you can always give either of our offices a call. Our Los Angeles office is 213-399-7772, and our Carson office is 310-324-6172. If you're outside the area, give one of those offices a call. We'd be more than happy to find you an upper cervical specialist somewhere, wherever you are, whoever's closest. So I hope this uh, video was educational, and for those who are suffering and looking for a natural solution instead of swallowing pain medication, there are better answers out there than toxifying your system. Okay, thanks for listening.